About 10 years ago, a large randomized study was conducted out of Europe that was testing a regimen that was honestly pioneered at MD Anderson, uh, led by Eli Esty. Uh, and that regimen was to try and avoid chemotherapy for the treatment of acute promyelocytic leukemia. We're just giving all transretinoic acid, ATRA, with arsenic and avoid chemotherapy altogether. And in fact, in that small trial out of MD Anderson, it looked quite promising. So the European cooperative groups got involved and quickly did a randomized trial testing that regimen against a chemotherapy ATRA regimen. And the results were uh, quite frankly, uh, I won't say astonishing to those of us who are aware of the benefits of arsenic, but the, the long-term survival rates were astoundingly high, approaching you know, 95, 100%. Everybody was cured if you survived uh, the first week of the chaos of the diagnosis. And so that regimen got approved worldwide and is now a standard of care. But in fact, as it has been put in practice, well, you want to see, is, is it really working as well as that trial seemed to imply it was? And this study essentially is a sort of a real world results out of uh, European registries, concluding that, yes, it really is as good as all that. The long term survival rates really are, you know, in the high 90s in terms of percentages. So that was reassuring to know, yes, we really are doing a great job with APL.